So uh, this is a simulation environment that we have. Um, and what I'm going to show you is we're going to basically build an array by putting in three hard disks uh, to create a RAID 5. And then we're going to configure it using the BIOS on this particular machine. So to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the uh, drive bay area. I'm going to select my three hard disks. And I'm going to drag and drop them. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so we can see the back of these. And what we're going to need to do is connect our data to this port and our power to this port. So what I'm going to do is grab some SATA cables here and I'm going to connect them virtually. And then I need to connect them to the power supply there we go and so what I'm going to do is grab the SATA connectors here and plug them in giving me power to each of these three drives Now the next thing we need to do is we need to connect those data cables to the motherboard. So I'm going to go here to the motherboard. And you can see this these red ports here are my SATA ports. I have SATA 1, 2, excuse me, 1 and 2, 3, 4, and 5. So I'm just going to connect those drives into those ports. So, one, two, and three. Right. So now at this point we can go to the front of the machine, we can power on the machine and we'll see that it will boot. And we want to go into our BIOS, so I'm going to hit delete. In the BIOS you can now see that I do have three hard drives here. These are Western Digital hard drives. And what we need to do is we need to change our storage configuration. This is a traditional BIOS. It's text-based as opposed to a UFI BIOS. So we have to use our keyboard and not our mouse. So I'm going, to arrow, I'm going to arrow down and hit enter. I'm going to go to my SATA controller type. And instead of IDE, which is the old style, uh, I'm going to go down to RAID and hit enter. I'm going to hit escape to go back and escape again. I'll save my changes and reboot. And now the RAID controller on the motherboard will be enabled. So I'm going to let it start booting. Once it gets to the next screen, it's scanning the drives. The RAID controller is there. I'm going to hit F to go into the RAID control utility. Okay? At this point, there are no drive assignments. If I hit 1, you'll see that nothing has been assigned. Everything is just its own disk. So I'm going to go back. And what we're going to do is we're going to define a logical disk. So I'm going to hit 2. And we're going to define logical disk 1 as our RAID. So I'll hit Enter here to select it. The next thing I want to do is I want to select what kind of RAID do I want. Do I want a RAID 0, a RAID 1, a RAID 5? In our case, we want to use a RAID 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use spacebar to change until I get to RAID 5. Now the strike block size, that's how big the files are. It's going to chunk the files into 64 kilobit chunks on each drive as it goes through. I'm going to scroll down. And if you see here the assignment where it says no, I'm going to change that to yes. And what I'm doing here is saying, I want to use disk 1, disk 2, and disk 3 as part of this array. So I'm going to go ahead and hit spacebar to change it, arrow down, spacebar, arrow down, and spacebar. At this point we want to save our settings, so I'm going to hit um, control Y to save. And it's going to say, are you sure you want to do this? It's going to, it's going to erase your disks. I'm okay with that, so I'm going to say yes by doing control Y again. And then it's going to say, how much space do you want to use? In my case, I want to use the entire disk. You can actually choose, instead of using the whole 800 gigabyte disk, to use maybe only 400 gigabytes of it. But for our purposes, we'll just use all of it, so I'll hit any key. And now we have our RAID array. And so we had an 808 gigabyte disk that we were using, right? And we have three of those. But notice, our drive size is only 1616, right? It's two-thirds of the size, because one of those drives equivalent is going to be used for parity. Part 1, Part 2, parity, right? 
part one, parity, part two. Parity, part one, part two, right? And so we're going to lose a third of the disk space. So at this point, we're going to hit escape. And we're going to go ahead and hit escape again. It's going to say, are you sure you want to reboot? And I'll say yes. And at this point, we should see, as it reboots, we'll see our drives up here. We have a 2 plus 1 RAID 5, meaning three drives with one parity. Now, the reason we're getting the error here is we haven't installed an operating system yet. So at this point, we'd actually go ahead and install Windows, and we'd go through all of that. But just to show you the, the RAID array, that's how we do the RAID.